Hi, my name is Bart van Grinsven and I'm an Associate Professor in the Sensor Engineering Department of Maastricht University. Today, I will provide you with a short introduction to our project proposal entitled Food Screening EMR. About a year ago, researchers of Boss F Vegetable Seeds contacted us to brainstorm about the sensing challenge raised by their customers. Farmers and food producers indicated they would profit massively from a tool that allows them to assess the nutritional value of their crops in the field. Currently, they have to send crop samples to an external lab for elemental analysis, a cumbersome and expensive procedure. Therefore, a tool that can be used in the field would have an enormous economical benefit for the agrofood sector. Recent studies by ING Bank have shown that this sector will experience a moderate to severe economic blow due to the COVID pandemic. Although we have not stopped eating, the sector's dependency on export has made it especially vulnerable. One way to make the farming industry future-proof is to focus more on offering the population healthy food products that are produced in a sustainable way. The desired tool can contribute to this as it can help farmers to directly assess the effect of new cultivation techniques that either allow to grow crops using less water and nutrients or that result in products with an increased nutritional content. In 2018, we discovered a technology that might provide an answer. This novel sensing principle is based on imprint technology, a relatively straightforward approach in which a plastic mold is formed around the target of interest, in our case, for example, vitamin C. When you remove vitamin C molecules, a receptor is left behind that contains specific binding sites that can specifically detect the vitamin in a complex environment. If we fill the pores of this mold with dye molecules and we immerse these dye-loaded receptor in a solution, nothing happens. The dye molecules remain bound to the receptor. But if the solution contains vitamin C molecules, however, they will bind to the mold, displacing the dye molecules into the solution. This leads to a visually observable colouring of the solution that can be quantified. The more vitamin C is present in the food sample on the study, the more dye will be released. Currently, the technology has only been validated on the lab scale. We immobilise the dye loaded receptors in a syringe filter, suck the sample on the study into a syringe and push the syringe into the filter. The intensity of the color reaction is then measured using a lab-based absorption meter. This is obviously not very convenient for farmers to use in the field. Therefore, we will team up with the researchers of the Institute of Materials Research of Hasselt University and iMac to transfer the test to a dipstick that allows easy sample analysis. Researchers at the Microengineering Department of the Universities of Liège and Aachen will help us to develop a handheld column reader, while two regional SMEs, Joker and Zumo Lab, will ensure that the data can easily be analyzed by the end users using a user-friendly software package. To investigate how the technology can make an economical impact on the regional agriculture value chain, the Food Claims Center of Venlo of UM will investigate which requirements the newly generated data sets should meet in order to form the basis of food and health claims. Bas F and UM's Plant and Virogenetic Research Group will investigate how the technology can be used to experiment with sustainable cultivation techniques to create healthier crops. To ensure that all industrial stakeholders in the region will profit from the project, Brightland Campus Greenport Fenlo will create and manage a user platform that allows interested stakeholders to participate in the project in an advisory role.